Hey YouTube, you can show me here with a review of the Tokume Sentai Go Busters MBAF Red Buster and Cheetah Nick set. So MBAF is a morphing bike and figure, which means this is probably going to be the only figure with that tagline, since there really aren't isn't any more bikes in the show yet. But anyway, so we have Cheetah Nick and Red Buster right here. Change, typical picture up there, butt shot, transformation feature. Which actually looks pretty cool here, but anyway, cool shot. So we'll go ahead and move that out of the way and bring in Cheetah Nick and Red Buster. So here is the Red Buster figure, good old Hiromu. Uh, I like it and hate it at the same time. So the head sculpt is actually pretty nice looking. Um, however, the head is quite a bit thin looking. But then again, looking at the figure, the entire figure is kind of thin looking. Um, everything just kind of seems really tiny in proportion to what an actual person looks like. But that aside, the head sculpt itself is actually really nice. The visor is shiny and just looks overall really, really cool. So I have to give them props for that. I, it makes me really excited for the future figure arts version whenever they decide to actually announce that. Um, Joint-wise, we have a swivel system up here in the shoulder, which works fairly well. A swivel right here at the hand, or the wrist rather. No elbow articulation whatsoever. His head can rotate 360 and move up and down. Uh, no lower neck joint there. Uh, the feet are on a simple ball and socket joint, which come off incredibly easy. Single joint there at the knee and a swivel right here at the boot. So, pretty much standard sort of Bandai of America bike figure articulation. In fact, it's a little bit better than Bandai of America bike figure articulation. But, uh, that, that's what the figure reminds me of. Um, and it reminds me quite a bit of the figures that came with, like, Magic Ranger and Bokenger that uh, came with their vehicles. It reminds me a lot of that, except those figures were actually a little bit better than these ones in terms of articulation but we'll set him back here actually we won't we have the Ichigan Buster so he can hold that no paint it's just a black weapon like Ben of America again or at least during the MMPR 2010 line otherwise it's usually gray or Samurais are actually colored the appropriate Ranger color and here is the Sogon blade so you can Put that in his hand however you wish. Goes the other way. So he can hold the weapons. However, due to the fact that he doesn't have the elbow articulation, it kind of comes across really stupid because in order to fire straight, he has to shoot like that. So uh, they can't combine or move or anything of the sort. So yeah. Here is Cheetah Nick. Uh, really, really cool actually. The bike looks incredibly well done. Got the cheetah head up here. Here's Nick's face up there with the speedometer information and stuff like that. Fuel tank. And it looks pretty coherent. Um, I mean, you can tell Cheetah and Nick's legs are right here and his arms are right there. In fact, his hands are sticking out over here at the wheel wells. But it, it, it doesn't look all that bad. And for the concept, it actually pulls it off fairly well. So... Hiromu can ride on Cheetah Nick, which is good. Uh, one thing you do want to do beforehand is pop these little levers out. These will be the uh, his little foot placements. So spin his arms around, have him grip the handlebars, then just sort of get him into place. Probably should have did that a little bit beforehand. So get him in this like weird crouchy position. Sort of like if O's was trying to mount the ride vendor in vending machine mode. Still one of my favorite parts of O's. So swing his legs around, rotate those to get them onto the posts. As you can see, he doesn't really hold the handlebars all that well. Um, due to the lack of elbow articulation, the poses that you can get with him on the bike 
are fairly, fairly limited. It takes a lot of finicking in order to get a pretty decent position. And there we go. So you can lift the kickstand up, and then you can drive around and vroom vroom, and you can let him let go and tilt his head, which looks kind of goofy in the long run, but he can hold the Ichigan Buster and fire and stuff like that. Um, but again, because of the lack of the elbow articulation, the poses that you can get with him while on Chuda Nick are fairly limited. And this is about the only bike riding pose that you can get outside of not using the kickstand and having his feet end up back here or something like that. Those are really the only options you have, which is kind of disappointing. But uh, to transform Cheetah Nick, you just, you know, we can sit down over there. Uh, basically, you want to split apart this entire section. Um, this part will just plug right out, and we'll do something with it later. The arms swing around, feet come down here, the foot pedestals should have been folded up, that was my bad. Just like so, split the legs apart. This entire cabin section will move down, fold that around, even though you don't really have to. And there you have Cheetah Nick. So after some finicking with the legs to get him to stand properly, uh, he is quite a bit back heavy because as you can see he has quite a huge backpack. Uh, like I said with these, you don't particularly have to move the wheel because it doesn't affect the transformation any whatsoever. Um, but to make it a little bit more show accurate, that should be flush against his back. Or at least as flush as it can get. So this entire section right here bothers me quite a bit. All they really would have had to do was hollow out this section right here to make this swivel in a little bit more. Or have this section be able to swivel and sit flush with this wheel and then swing back in there just to make this entire section go down a little bit more. Uh, I don't mind the fact that it's bulky and big really, but just the fact that it hangs off so much off the back is kind of off-putting. But uh, that aside, he does have elbow articulation, so he's better than Hiromu. He's got a swivel up here at the shoulder, swivel right there at the wrist. Um, the feet, again, are ball joints and sockets. A single joint right there at the knee, and then a ball-jointed foot down here. So he's got quite a bit of articulation in his head. It can look left and right, and it is on a ball joint, so it has a little bit of up and down movement. Speaking of which, his head sculpt is actually really, really nice. Um, it's not compound or anything like that. It's all sculpt and paint details. But it does look like Cheetah Nick, and you can see all the little green uh, paint applications in his eyes and uh, forehead, which look really, really nice. So, I have to give him props on that. It's no figure art or anything, but uh, they've really upped the the quality on the paint applications and stuff on their um, middle-class figure lines that aren't figure arts and stuff like that. Sort of like the uh, FMC series. Or the OCC series. Um, those have a lot better, uh, I think, uh, quality to them than the uh, WFC series did. So, they've really upped their A-game quite a bit when it comes to their uh, middle line figures. So, stand up Hiromu here. So, here's the two of them together. Uh, as you can see, Cheetah Nick is a little bit taller than uh, Red Buster, but not by too much. This section right here, I prefer to just keep it to the side since he doesn't have these in the show. This wheel kind of actually just sort of vanishes. But uh, you can split them apart and then knock them over because that's cool. Uh, and these will actually go exactly where they go in vehicle mode. There's a peg right there and a hole right there on his wrist, rather the middle of his arm. And those just peg right in and they're... I guess some sort of wheel weapon. You can pretend. I guess you can pretend the exhaust pipe's a gun. And these are like little saws or something like that. He's Metal Man. I don't know. But 
there's that, and then like I said before with the weapons, you can give your own with a Sogon blade and the Ichigan Buster, so now they're all primed for combat and stuff. So here they are. Um as for this set, um, is it worth the retail price? I don't particularly think so. Um, this set runs almost $30 from AmiAmi. Um, in fact, it might actually run a little more than $30, which really isn't worth it, considering this is probably a set that would go for about $20 on the American market. Um, just looking at past Power Ranger sets and stuff, maybe $25, but even then, I like the Cheetah Nick figure, and it's nice to have a posable, transformable figure, considering we don't really know whether the figure art's going to have that ability or not, providing they even make a figure out of Cheetah Nick, which I'm sure they will. But uh, the articulation on Red Buster's hit and miss. It gets what you need done, but the lack of the elbow joint really ruins some possibilities to get for posing. And honestly, I feel like if he did have that elbow joint that um, I probably would give this set a little bit more credit just because you could do a lot more with it. Um, as it stands, I think it's a great set to pick up if you're a fan of these guys. Uh, however, I would probably wait to see if they clearance them out a little bit more. You can get it for a little bit cheaper on Mandarake and maybe eBay. I haven't checked eBay for these ones yet to see how the prices are working over there. Um... But I'd probably wait to see if any of the stores try to clearance these out a little bit. They are in stock regularly. So I imagine these will probably become like Power Dizer and start hitting the 50% off region. So I'd probably wait until then or wait and see how the figure it's going to handle Cheetah Nick's transformation, whether they do it or not. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. I like the toys. They're just really not the best and not really worth the full price for this set. Uh, so you can check out shukenshinobi.com for latest updates on my reviews and hauls. And of course, check out writersrangersandrambles.com, bringing the latest token news in the craziest way possible. So take care and have a great one. Bye.